Hey, what's going on world? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. Now, if you're a new buyer and you're really a first time person going out to make a decision on buying your video card, you probably have a lot of questions and probably the biggest question that's on your mind is, should I buy Nvidia or should I buy AMD? So I'm gonna tell you guys in this video, I'm gonna break it down to you really what the difference is between buying an Nvidia card and buying an AMD card. So we'll start off with AMD first. So AMD has always been known throughout history to be the price leader. All their stuff is always going to be lower priced than its NVIDIA counterpart. I mean, nine tens out of 10, this is always the case, even with AMD's products with their motherboards and CPUs, you're not gonna see them being really more expensive than uh, their Intel counterpart or NVIDIA in most cases. Now there are some, you know, Sometimes there's a change to the rule and NVIDIA will have something that's less priced and an AMD will have a more expensive product, but generally AMD will be the price leader. And being that AMD is the price leader, let's just face it, there are more people in the world that are either, I don't know, middle class or poor than there are richer people or upper class people. So if people can't afford the higher priced Intel or higher priced NVIDIA products, they're going to always flock to AMD. And since there are a lot more people out there, NVIDIA has a lot of true supporters. So uh, Team AMD has a great bunch of people that all support them and do that. You know, they're Team AMD and they're, they're, and they're big with their fans because of these things. Now, some of the shortcomings with buying AMD are this though. Whatever you get from them nine times out of 10 is going to be slower than its NVIDIA counterpart. Usually at the exact same price point and most of the times, you're gonna see that the NVIDIA card will actually outperform the AMD card. Now there are gonna be a lot of times where the AMD card will, like I said, be cheaper, but many times NVIDIA is going to have the faster card. Also, AMD kind of is a little bit wacky sometimes with their driver releases for games. They don't have as many game companies. They don't work hand in hand with as many game companies as Nvidia. If you notice when you play a game, most of the games out there say meant to be played with Nvidia. And that's because Nvidia works really closely with these companies. Well, obviously to get their name on that. And you do see AMD much less inside of a game being, hey, this game's for AMD than you do from Nvidia. Now there's FreeSync and G-Sync. Now, FreeSync is AMD's solution. They don't charge any money for this, and a lot of monitors actually support this. And what this does is this eliminates all the screen tearing and stuff on your monitor. So when you're playing a game, you won't get any of that screen tearing, any of that ripping. It just makes your games play the absolute best. And a lot of people on the AMD side are much more preferable to that because if you get a G-Sync monitor from NVIDIA, you're going to be paying a little bit more money. It's just the way that it is. things are right now. I don't know why. Uh, NVIDIA should honestly change this particular aspect of their thing. I mean, really, they should because if they had more G-Sync monitors at better prices, it would be a much easier thing all around for NVIDIA. And they get a lot more people going, hey, I love G-Sync, but who wants to pay extra money if AMD is giving that technology away for free? Now, on the NVIDIA side of things, support is absolutely great most of the time. Okay, most of the time it really is. They have the latest drivers always for the games because like I said just a second ago, they work hand in hand with these companies. So they usually have the absolute best drivers for games, especially right around launch time. So when you get launch time and everything and you want the get best you know, gaming driver, usually Nvidia is gonna have it and be right be behind. Now, a thing that floats around a lot though is that people say that Nvidia gimps their older cards to make their cards not run you know, as fast as newer stuff. Now, I don't really think that NVIDIA really does that on purpose because their cards sell so well anyways, there's always a market. Look what we're in the market right now. The market we're in at this particular time, video cards you can't even get because everybody's buying them up. So, you know, that's probably not true at all. But when new drivers come up, what I think happens is they just don't really worry about older cards. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like the guy's in there coding away, he's doing his stuff and he's like, oh, all this code right here, this is for the fucking 970 or for the blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, you know, do we need to bulk up on this code? No, probably not. Let's just, let's just slim that stuff down. And that's probably what happens more than likely is probably the new coder guys doing all this stuff don't have the best support for the older games. And I mean, I can understand that, but then again, you can always have an older driver to play your games. You can switch between them. It's not, it's kind of a little weird, but it's not that hard to do. So. I hope for folks out there that are new to this, this really kind of helps you. You know, um, NVIDIA products 
always have been for the longest time the highest priced video cards that they you know that they have out there and that's because they usually always like i said have the premium absolute best performance so if your concern are the best drivers best supported card all the way around going to be able to play every game pretty much without any hassle whatsoever and they're usually more available let's just face it they're usually a lot more available then you probably want to look oh and one last thing you don't care about price if you don't care about price and you just want the absolute best stuff then yeah an nvidia card might be really good for you also there's a couple of things i want to mention as well amd has their fire gl cards those are actually geared more for the professional market and nvidia has their quadro cards but a lot of times people have been known to flash their standard cards in the quadro cards i don't really know that amd cards are so successful going from their standard cards into a pro level card now with anything that has to do with direct compute the amd card is going to work a lot better everything for direct compute right now amd is just faster at direct compute that's just how it is but for other professional things like doing autocad and all that kind of stuff if you're not only going to be doing gaming then the nvidia card will do that stuff a little bit better unless like i said it's direct compute so at the end of the day if you're a brand new guy and you're going out there to buy a video card you just really got to ask yourself what you really want what's most important to you if absolute performance is the best and that's what you care for and you're not really too worried about money then yeah most of the time you're going to probably be going to go and get the nvidia card because it's nine times out of ten going to be faster now if money's a key issue to you, you don't have a lot of money, then hey, you don't really have a choice because you can't just pull money out of your butt and have it to buy video cards. So in that case, you probably would be more likely to be on the AMD side of things. And AMD has some crazy fans, man. Like, honestly, some of the AMD fans are like those football hooligans that you see in London. They will absolutely kick your butt if you say anything crazy about AMD that they don't like. They'll come and get you, man. So just things to think about. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. I hope that answers some of your questions if you're new into the PC arena. For you folks out there, I know that, that maybe you just watched the video, but you guys who have been out there a while, you know all these standard things that are going on with, with, the, with the market, So, and you know what you like and why you like it. But for people who have never actually known this information before, I hope it helps. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.